Hey everyone, Delta here. So today I thought I would do another top 10 video, but this time I'm not going to do a top 10 maps. I'm actually going to do a top 10 Gary's Mod Essentials. Now these are essentials that I use to make my videos and also when I play occasionally Gary's Mod. I find these the most useful mods in Gmod at the moment. Now I do want to reiterate a couple of things before going into this video. These are not going to be top 10 maps, there's not going to be a single map at all mentioned during this video, but I will link the map that I use to test my mods and show you my mods right now so that you guys can try it. I also do want to reiterate that every Gmod player has a different essentials type thing. So some people prefer different mods than the ones I have, and some people have similar mods than what I have. There also, I should also reiterate that not every add-on is going to work, and the collection link will be in the description below. Now I swear, if I get another stupid comment on why the link doesn't work, or why you can't have access to that collection, there will be hell to pay, and I can assure you, it won't be fun for you. Don't believe me? Let me show you. Fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. Being fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. Being fluffy unicorns. Let's go to KFC. Let's be honest, people. You do watch this type of stuff when you're at home. Mm-hmm. I think we made ourselves very clear. Anyway, in no particular order, these are my top 10 Gary's Mod Essentials. I love it! And we begin with number 10, the TFA base. This is a base I found about a year and a half, almost two years ago now, and I particularly find this base quite useful. It has some great uh, guns that are attached to it, and there are some great guns that come essentially with the base as well, but it's good to see that the TFA, TFA base is going a long way in making a lot more support for modders to make more guns as well. Now what I like about it is it also has hit markers, uh, which you don't see in a lot of other bases, and I just particularly just like this base, simply put it, because it's quite a universal Gmod base gun base, more specifically. Uh, I also will put in CW's um, base as well, and um, I'm going to put that next to the TFA base because I do like both, and I think the thing that I like about the CW base is that it's very customizable, but I also think that now it's becoming less universal and TFA's base is a bit more universal, so I kind of nitpick from the two every once in a while. So that was my number 10. My next base that I like to use is I is the Enhanced Player Model. Now, I'm not the only one that uses this, Takoji also uses this as well, and it's very useful for swapping uh, player models during some videos uh, that we make. Now, I do, I do know what a lot of you are thinking, that I don't actually use this particular one in the videos. That's because I just don't like using it in the videos, I don't find it particularly necessary. If I like a skin, I just stick with that skin. I don't need it anymore, but if I'm playing with friends, of course, I'd like to swap over certain skins every once in a while. And it's a very useful tool, it's a very old tool, but it's a pretty cool tool, so definitely go check that one out. Number three, Blood and Gore Overhaul. This is actually TFA's as well, and it's a really awesome mod. It's a little bit graphic, and if you are under a particular age that doesn't see violence, although anyone who plays Gary's mod usually has seen quite a lot of violence at this point, um, it is a pretty cool mod to have as well because it just aesthetically looks good. What I kind of like, although it's kind of gross as well, is that the blood spills all over the player model's hands and the gun itself, but apart from that, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's that's also a little bit worrying as well. Number four, sorry, six, but the fourth mod, that's what I meant, is Lone Wolfie's car mods. Anything by Lone Wolfie that he's made, he's made some really good car mods. They aesthetically look good, they sound great, they handle a little bit poorly, but it's Gary's mods, they're using the Half-Life 2 vehicle car, which 
is kind of a tricky car to really change its physics, but it's still a pretty cool ported mod, uh, mod pack, and they're very high quality. I mean, there's some seriously cool stuff. You know, they even have my dad's old Austin Healy uh, in this car pack, and actually my dad did have that car, but that's a different topic. Um, regardless, this is a really cool car pack. Go check it out. If you're really into cars, you won't be disappointed. Number five, TFA HUD. I get asked about this HUD all the time. Everyone asks, where do I get this HUD? Well, this is the HUD that I'm talking about. It's a beautiful mod made by TFA. It aesthetically cleans up the old, out-of-date uh, HUD display from Half-Life 2. And I just really like it. I just think it looks clean and looks modern. And it's just a good way to show your friends, you know what, I take Gary's mod simply and modernly. If modernly is an actual word, correct me if I'm wrong. Number seven. No, not number seven. Number six, VJ Base. This is uh, a base that has been trending for a long time. It allows you to have these very advanced NPCs that you can fight against, and and also allows for some crazy battles. This is just me fighting Liberty Prime. I can't really say much anything about it. I just say go check it out because your opinions can always change between different variations of the VJ base. Personally, I just keep it because. It's a useful NPC mod to have. Number seven, Extended Properties. Now, Extended Properties allows you to do a lot of things to NPCs and all kinds of other props. So for now, I'm just going to display what you can do with NPCs. You can ignite the, the, uh, the NPC, you can give it a different gun, you can uh, make it larger. It's just awesome to use, and it's so much more practical than using you know, like the extending tool, etc. But regardless, check it out. You really won't be disappointed. It's a fantastic mod to have. Number eight, Gesture Menu Mod. Um, now, Gesture Menu allows you to do some pretty cool stuff. It allows you to dance, wave your hands, salute, whatever you want. And it's cool, a little aesthetic. I wouldn't say it's particularly a necessary mod, but when I make my videos, I kind of use it. Um, and I know Takoji also uses it as well. But I'm not saying don't take our word for it, that we use it. Check it out yourself if it's something that you would like as well. Number nine, modern notifications. The modern notification add-on is actually a very clean way to see all your undos and all your changes that you're making into the scene. Or in this case, in your Gary's Mod uh, game. It doesn't really do much, but I just like it because it makes my Gary's Mod look nice from a HUD side. And it matches well with the TFA uh, HUD as well. And finally, because I don't get asked this question a lot, number 10, Nuke Pack. Yep, it's actually one of my very first add-ons I've ever used, and basically it's just nuclear weapons. It explodes, it looks great, kills everyone. And that's it, these are my essentials for Gary's Mod. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like these essentials, don't forget to check the link. Don't forget to check the link in the description below that will give you direct access to the collection. And as always, please stay posted for more videos. I promise you I will get more videos out soon. Hopefully Monday there will be a new video that I did with Takoji since the last video did pretty well. Take care guys, and I'll see you later. Bye! Hello everyone and thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please go check out some of my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't like or subscribe, please don't forget to leave it in the comment section below or send me a message. I always want to improve my videos and I appreciate all feedback. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Later guys!